Good morning, everybody. Happy Feels Good Friday. Thank you for having me back. My name is Mirka Ayo, and I'm an early childhood mental health specialist at Gads Hill Center. And today we are going to be talking about co-regulation. But before we talk about co-regulation, we need to talk about self-regulation. So what is self-regulation? Self-regulation is the ability for a person to effectively control or regulate their emotions. Um, it's the ability for them to, to calm down or to manage um, high uh, emotions like anger, or sadness. Um, this is how we think, act, feel, and pay attention to what we're experiencing. And the benefits of self-regulation is higher self-esteem, success in the workplace or in school, control, controlling our impulses, and problem solving. How do we develop co-regulation is with our parents. Um, co-regulation is when the parent uses their relationship with the child to help the child um, develop the control um, to regulate their own emotions. So they're giving structure to how the child will be able to cope um, with the strong emotions they're feeling. Um, an example would be when a child is experiencing a tantrum, um, you use uh, a calm voice, you get down to their level, you give them uh, their tantrum or their feeling a name, and you allow them to have space for them to calm down. Um, and then next we have tips and tricks for self-regulation and co-regulation. So I have six tips to help um, you and your child develop a better co-regulation uh, relationship. The first is a consistent routine. Number two, pay attention to when your child is tired, is getting more upset, and how can we bring them down a, a notch before getting to the point where they explode. Number three, set clear expectations for your child and discuss these expectations beforehand. Four, put a name to that emotion or to what they're feeling. Five, have choices when possible. Can they go to a different room? Can they use different toys when they're upset? And number six, always remember to stay calm. The child is looking for the parent to get um, information from them, to get structure. So if the parent is calm, the child will also learn how to be calm themselves. Thank you all so much, and I hope you have a happy Friday.